Bubba built it. Today's the day. We're going to try to put the engine in. Michael is covering up the intake holes here. And why are you doing that? So we don't have an errant washer <laughs> go down into the intake. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, um, we're just talking about a situation where our cousin had a sweet running little... Hornet. Actually, it was a dart. It was a dart? Mm -hmm. Oh. And it had a slant six in it. A little slant six. And he was sitting there messing with the distributor, messing with the timing, and dropped a... Um, you know what? I think he was putting new points in it. Yeah. And dropped the little screw that holds the points yeah. down into the distributor hole. It was a small screw. Yeah. And he thought, and he was like, fine. Oh, man. I dropped that down in there. Oh, well. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> Well, I get why he made that decision, because it would have been a problem to get it out, but first time he turned it over, that that screw foobarred the, the timing gear yeah. on the cam, yeah. and the poor little car never ran again. That was it. <laughs> Man. Oh, I always remember that yeah. story. That was, that was burned into my mind. Yeah. Poor car. Yeah. All right. That was the one, you know, that um, we got the back window as I was moving home from that junkyard in, in Kentucky, remember? Yeah, yeah. He had bought it without a back glass. That was a really good deal, even back then. 600 bucks yeah. for running. It was a four-door, but... It had a decent paint job on it. You know, it was like, it was fine. <laughs> Somebody had, had reached... Somebody it. had gotten really... Uh, <clears throat> Exuberant with a with a blue stripe on a white. Look, it was it was a clean little car. It was a clean little car. And what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to reuse this hundred year old tape. So I've, I've got uh, several layers. Look, see, it's like three layers thick, but but it is working at that at that thickness. So. But as we said before, we're allergic to spending money. I break out into a rash and everything. <laughs> so if it, if it if it abates my my allergy, yeah, it's gonna have to be two layers thick. Yeah. Oh, we got a little bit of a. If it slips by that, then we're just somebody somebody up there wants this engine not to work. <laughs> Okay, well, we have our chain hooked up. I think it's secure enough. It's not ideal. <laughs> Look, I mean, we went around the exhaust manifold over here and this thing here. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. So, so we're going to... To your yeah. point, we should rotate it first. Yeah. So we'll be... We'll spin it around, hook it up to the cherry picker, and then we're going to put the uh, ring gear on and drop it in. Mm-hmm. Drooping on the stand. Oh yeah. I don't know. It's, I don't like it one bit, but as long as it doesn't fall in the next two minutes before we pick it up, it's done its job. Two minutes. Two minutes. Okay, hurry, hurry. hurry. One minute, forty-five seconds later. Good dink. <laughs> and although this thing works, the wheels are jacked. It's like trying to. It's like trying to move a disinterested cat. That's a much better analogy than what I was coming up with. Where are you? Yeah, mine had something to do with a clown smeared in butter on a bull. Oh. <laughs> what in the world? It's like a snake wearing a vest rolling a, a donut. There you go. <laughs> Okay. So we've got our 
motor mount bolted up and they or may not know we made those uh, you can check out one of our previous videos to see how we did that i'm very pleased with it yeah when we call these our rigid mounts that's how you know we made them yeah no, it looks good. So we're just tightening those up, and then, of course, All right. I think we're ready to lower it in, right? We are ready. Okay, back to time lapse. got a we've got one bolt in over here on the engine mount and we're just going to get these in we're going to have to move it around a little bit in order to do that we're just going to loosen up the mount from the block so that we can get a little bit of wiggle that's all it's going to take we'll get the bolts in then we'll tighten everything up and it'll kind of load it a little bit i guess right yeah yeah so that's good yeah the only bad thing is it this whole thing, this project ate one of our 15 millimeter gear wrenches. Like it, it fell, and then I didn't hear it go clink. <laughs> it's so it's the underneath car there. Said, I want that. It's underneath there it's somewhere. Under, it's under it. It's just, man, what a pain in the I hate that. I hate whenever you drop it and you don't hear it make it all the way. Mm -hmm. So I'll try to roll that back and find it because if I don't, do it today we'll never we'll forget about it and it'll come out going down the road that'll be really awesome mm -hmm. so very cool man i'm i'm super pleased it's good to see it in there mm -hmm. and you know back to the ride height guess what looking at it just looking at it from back here you can tell we're down oh, quite yeah. a bit look at that so which yeah. is good it's just good it's got that it's got a bit of a rake now coming from the back Forward. Which we're going to end up lowering it more. We're exactly. going to put coilovers on it. Yeah, yeah. This is this is all very very good. I am super pleased with this. Yay! So I wasn't able to find the wrench after we rolled it back. I Means we got to go up in the air. Oh, I see it. <laughs> it's amazing. You're not going to believe that. <laughs> I mean, seriously, that's amazing. Hey, that is awesome, actually. <laughs> I told you it didn't hit. You're right. Oh, there we no, go. when we rolled it back and it wasn't there, I knew you were right. Oh. I just figured they did a somersault and got underneath the jack at first. Hey, what are those two wires there? O2 sensors. Okay, all right. The rear O2 That's sensors, I think. Major. Okay, yeah, because somebody removed the uh, yeah. clearance. Yeah. Yeah, somebody got a payday for those. Uh -huh. All right. We need to go higher. I, I yeah. wanted to get it to chair height. Yep. Roll around and just sit underneath it. I like that. So. I love it. Mm. Everything looks good, though. I think it's. I think we've got it sitting on there nicely. Yeah, shake it. Shake. Grab the front uh, bumper horn and give it a shake. Yeah, that's solid. Yeah. Is that about chair height? You think? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Rolling around. Because the next step now will be the flex plate. Flex plate, and then uh, loosen up the. Passenger side motor mount. Yeah. From the block. Yeah, we may end up. We're, we're going to either have to use, we're either have to use a, a pry bar to get everything lined up or we'll have to put the, the engine stand back on it. Yeah. That's no big deal. No big deal at all. Because we've had it all bolted up, so we know it works. Yep, yep, yep. What it is is where those four bolts, there's a little bit of movement. And when we tightened it, we just locked it in in a place that wasn't just quite right. Yeah. 
Because it does. So it really won't even put it under tension. What it's going to do is just look, let it get back where. Line up. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's not far off. Mm. No worries on that. Yeah, like I say, right now the flex plate is what we got to. You can see that big inspection hole right there. Not yet. There it is right there. Hello. Let me go get the light. Did it take? Nope. There it is. Oh, yeah. Uh oh, we got an oil leak. Oh! <laughs> no, that's from before. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> the copious amounts of uh -huh. oil. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, everything looks nice and clean underneath here. Uh huh. I mean, on the engine anyway. Yeah, right. <clears throat> Excuse me. One more. <clears throat> Don't do it again. I'm not. Don't worry. <laughs> Okay, there. Oh, wow. Look at that. Two holes are almost lined up. Uh huh. I mean, like, like they're all there. They are lined up. Look, look over here. Shine your light in your. your you look at that. Oh, yeah. That is the luck of the Irish. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now we're going to have to turn the engine. Well, oh, man, crack blanket. Get up there on the, the front. Yeah, it. right there on the front there. We'll put a... What size is that again? We already got it. We already were using it. It's on yeah, the no. front of that one. I think it's still on the front of that one. Um, no, it was. It was there this morning, I think. What do we do with that? Oh, it's still... Uh, it's right there on the... I think we just used that right there. This right here? I think so. We don't have room for that, do we? Yeah, we do. We do. Uh, not really, no. We don't. Okay. I don't know. Maybe we do. What size is this? Uh, I think it's three quarter. Okay. Yeah, we'll find it. All right, so one of the major hurdles that we've been wanting to take care of is now taking care of the engine is in the car. The engine's in so the car. That is big, awesome. Big step. Big, huge step forward, and we were buttoning up we didn't show you all of this because it's you know it's news fest right but we've got it all buttoned up down here the inspection plates back on we have loosened this motor mount up we've got one bolt in it one bolt in over here and we're gonna have to just get this exhaust out of the way we're not going to use it it's got to go yeah so that'll be the yeah, let's uh, see so what uh, the exhaust um I guess we got to do just take these two clamps off, really, yeah, right? Yeah, and then that'll slide and then out. the rest of it will drop right off. And I think there's one hanger at the back. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, I see those two hangers. Yeah, okay. Yep. Well, now it's, I think there's another mount point besides those hangers. Yeah, right. But I think oh. that'll start to come loose once yeah. we. Okay. Well, that'll be it, man. And uh, next step. We've next step is make all the connections. And yes. hopefully on the next video, we'll fire, fire it up. Fire it up. That will be seriously cool. Yeah, I'd love to hear this thing fire up and run, and then mm. chase down all the check engine lights. <laughs> <laughs> or I think I think we're just going to be doomed to have a check engine light. I don't know. We uh -oh. might we Someone's... might get lucky. Coming. Right, that's it. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs>